Right now, it's safe to say that Toyota is the brand to go if you want a vehicle that doesn't break without any notice. If you ask me what car is the most reliable right now, I could probably name five that have the Toyota nameplate. But of course, nothing is absolute in the auto industry, and over the years a number of automakers have been trailing or on equal terms with Toyota in terms of reliability. Hello everyone, this is Scott from Carland TV. It's time to get in the front seat. As today, I am going to list a number of car brands that are either close, equal, or subjectively better than Toyota in the reliability department. Before I start, I would really appreciate it if you would push those buttons below. The subscribe button, the notification bell, all of them. I do not require you to do so, but you would make me smile and push me to give you more valuable car-related content on your screen. Now buckle up and let's get back to the video. Subaru The first brand that actually came to my mind when making this video is Subaru. Have you seen or driven its SUVs, such as the Crosstrek or Forester? Those things are built to withstand and maneuver difficult driving conditions. They aren't your typical SUVs that were constructed using just a thin sheet of metal. As far as the auto market is concerned, Subaru has already established itself as a top manufacturer of highly reliable cars, with a laser-driven focus on making durable and long-lasting production vehicles. A proof that I want to raise is the symmetrical all-wheel drive system. It's one of the standout features of many Subaru cars, and so far it is considered more robust than the majority of the all-wheel drive systems used in Toyota. You can see this AWD being equipped in the likes of the Forester and Outback, and those two are notoriously rugged. In terms of overcoming rugged terrains, the cars I mentioned are better than the standard RAV4 and Highlander. Consumer reports mention that both the all-wheel drive and powertrains of Subaru don't suffer from long-term mechanical issues like many other car brands. In addition to mechanical reliability, Subaru's engineering ethos focuses on simplicity and practicality. This is something I have been saying to many car buyers for quite some time already. Though they appear sophisticated or complex at first, the architecture of Subaru cars is rather straightforward. The combination of quality materials, rigid quality control, and tested and tried designs has led to a few unnecessary complexities in their vehicles. For example, it's worth noting that the Subaru Impreza consistently ranks higher than the Toyota Corolla in terms of having fewer issues with engine and transmission components. This is a big deal, considering that Toyota often outranks 90-95% to 95 of car brands out there in this department. Plus, there aren't that many recalls related to the safety systems of Subaru vehicles, which, I think, is a factor you need to consider as well. This helps the brand compete as an equal or sometimes better option than Toyota in terms of overall dependability. Mazda Gone are the days when Mazda was only known for its agile and nimble vehicles. Today, the brand, and obviously its cars, are already known for their reliability, and that speaks a lot to the changes and innovations the company had to adapt to its manufacturing or factory procedures. In fact, it's not an exaggeration when I say that Mazda is already a major competitor of Toyota in terms of reliability. The employment of simplified engineering and stringent quality control placed Mazda just behind Toyota in various reliability surveys, including the one that Consumer Reports conducts annually. In 2021, Mazda, for example, joined Lexus and Toyota as the three most reliable car brands in the market for that year. To be honest, I can factor in different reasons that could explain Mazda's reliability as a brand. But as I have hinted earlier, the company's decision to avoid overly quirky and complicated technologies has allowed its cars to be less impervious to mechanical or electronic issues. Perhaps this played a big role in propelling modern Mazda cars to the top spots of various reliability rankings. For comparison, let's put the Mazda CX-5 and something like the Toyota RAV4 here. By all means, the reliability and popularity of the RAV4 are considered higher than the CX-5. But recently, the CX-5 has begun to appeal to the US market for its fun-to-drive demeanor. And there, owners realized that the engine and transmission of the CX-5 actually don't lag to the ones installed in RAV4. I can say the same thing about the Mazda 3 compact car as the Toyota Corolla. Both are extremely reliable, impervious to mechanical issues, and have strong infotainment and electrical systems, and these things were confirmed by the Vehicle Dependability Study of J.D. Power. 
So don't be surprised that along the way, some Mazda cars could outperform Toyotas in terms of reliability. Additionally, I also noticed that Mazda has been focusing on reducing weight and improving the fuel efficiency of its newer cars, and apparently there have been no compromises on their durability. I just hope that Mazda won't mess this one up. Honda Perhaps the only non-luxury brand that people consider to be on the same actual footing as Toyota in terms of reliability, without any pretenses or false claims, is definitely Honda. Both companies have the same thrusts. They are focused on engineering efficient, long-lasting, and easy-to-maintain cars. In fact, in a number of surveys and studies conducted by J.D. Power and Consumer Reports, Honda consistently ranks close, or in some cases, slightly above Toyota when it comes to long-term reliability. The engines of Honda cars, especially those fitted with the VTEC technology, are known for their durability and fuel efficiency, which on many occasions tend to outlast comparable Toyota engines. By the way, VTEC Tech is a system designed by Honda to elevate the volumetric efficiency of its four-stroke internal combustion engines, which technically improves the engine's performance at high RPMs and fuel consumption at low RPMs. Going back, I can cite certain Honda cars that are actually far better than their Toyota counterparts. One of them would be the Honda Civic, which, in today's case, is a better choice than Corolla. It has a much more solid transmission and engine than its Toyota rival. The comparison between the CRV and a RAV4 is also a good basis here. The CRV often receives higher reliability scores for its more efficient powertrain and fewer mechanical issues over time, particularly in older models. In the grand scheme, there's no doubt that Toyota and Honda are two of the finest makers of reliable vehicles. However, Honda's emphasis on consistent engine performance and practical design has given it an edge to slice through the competition, sometimes even outlasting Toyota in key segments and certain classes. Lexus I guess Lexus qualifies here, although we all know that it's Toyota's luxury arm. Technically, it's a different brand, and Toyota doesn't spell L-E-X-U-S, so yeah, you get my point. Despite this, I don't discount the fact that Lexus doesn't benefit from foundational engineering principles applied by Toyota in the production of its vehicles. But at the same time, it takes reliability a notch higher, which is necessary given the fact that Lexus competes in the luxury segment against bigwigs like BMW or Mercedes-Benz. From the get-go, it's quite clear that Lexus implements the use of premium materials and stringent quality control on its production vehicles. So much so that J.D. Power's 2023 Vehicle Dependability Study placed Lexus higher than Toyota in terms of reliability. Of course, this is due to the fact that Lexus focuses on refinement, which in turn results in fewer issues with critical components like electronics, powertrain, and safety features. The trade-off is the price, of course, but anyone who has driven Lexus knows that it brings justice to its costs. Also, I know this is a bit unfair, but let's compare the Lexus RX with the Toyota Highlander. Both are midsize SUVs, but the Lexus RX has fewer reported issues when it comes to its powertrain and electronics than its cousin from Toyota. Sure, you can make the argument that Lexus RX is pricier than the Outlander, but that's actually the point. It's pricey for a good reason. The same thing is true with the Lexus ES sedan. Keep in mind that the said car shares a platform with the Toyota Camry. Despite this, the Lexus ES consistently scores higher in long-term reliability in sites like the Consumer Reports due to its enhanced build quality and more reliable premium features. I guess all I want to say is that the craftsmanship of Lexus vehicles is significantly better than that of Toyota, which of course reduces the likelihood of sudden damages and repairs. And that completes this list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps the channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.